Hello everyone and welcome. My name's Karen Williams. I'm an executive leadership coach and organisational trainer and I'm here on behalf of SAMP Community Week today and I'm really excited to be welcoming Anastasia Kogan and Sarah Warboys to this conversation to talk about their new project, Me Time Inc. It's about how to have a healthy mind uh, using creativity. So two of my passions as well. So I'm really excited to have this conversation. So welcome Anastasia and Sarah. Thanks for having us, Karen. You. Lovely to meet you and lovely to see you. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this conversation because I know that you both have a, a background and an interest and also a personal connection with creativity and art. So you know all of that mixed together and then producing something like this that's really beautiful, helping people, especially through these challenging times when our minds can get away from us a little bit. So tell us about Me Time Inc and how it came about. So Meetum Inc is an arts-based wellness project. What we're doing is giving our customers an opportunity to have a mental break from everything that's going on at the moment, um, help them relax, unlock creativity, and in fact, in turn, um, increase productivity. So, you know, this is great for somebody who's experiencing a bit of a fatigue from working at home or, you know, mm -hmm. stress related to isolation and, you know, just anxiety about the uncertainty of the current situation. Yeah. Um, you know, especially if you're in Melbourne, like we are at yeah. the moment, hence yep. doing this <laughs> remotely. Um, yeah. And even for somebody who simply is looking for a new hobby, it's, you know, painting is fun. Yeah. That's, that's interesting, isn't it, that it it's, can provide such um, important assistance around our well-being, but it's also fun as well. So, you know, you, be, you could be coming from both angles in, um, you know, using your product. Yeah. So, um, you know, we've created these beautiful art boxes. It's got everything you need to get it, the project started. So, you know, your easel, paints, canvas, brushes, little nicks and knacks. Yeah. Um, a few surprise goodies as well. So, um, you know, there are also online guided tutorials to help you along. I know some people think, you know, they just don't know where to start. And um, I think for majority, that's the barrier to entry. So hopefully we've um, broken through that one to help them have their me time. <laughs> yes. Yeah, perfect. We're always looking for a bit of more me time, aren't we? And don't always know what to do when we've got that time, if we ever find it. What about for you, Sarah? What was it? What was it? Sorry, you were going to say? Oh, no, yeah, I was about to say um, it actually it really came about when we were completing the um, AICD Company Directors course back in March. And almost overnight, when COVID forced us all into isolation, yeah. uh, the concept of that box with everything that you need that Anastasia's already described, um, she, she really kind of brought that to my attention in a way that was um, really. Uh, powerful because I hadn't actually previously considered how I might even give myself some me time in you know mm. very what well, feels like a, a smaller and smaller space every day so um, yeah. I suppose that we pair it with a digital platform to ensure that you know all of our family and friends could also access um, mm. tutorials that we were creating um, and learn how to use the product so we we recognized pretty quickly that in-person uh, experiences were not going to feature very heavily on the 2020 calendar yeah. And uh, essentially, we really just wanted to create that distraction for family and friends. So it's yeah. like an experience, a loving push to carve out some me time. And um, the feedback's just been so amazing that we decided to trial it as a commercial project. Fantastic. And you know, I know that a lot of people are looking for like jigsaw puzzles and things like this because we don't know what else to do. And, you know, when we've had our Netflix binge or whatever that's like, that doesn't satisfy us in a way where this kind of product or this beautiful kind of project, a mini project in, in our own, really, on our own in, a, in our own lounge room could really satisfy us. Would that be right? Because it's about creativity rather than con consuming. Uh, look, I mean, for everyone, uh, every, everybody finds their creativity in different ways and there's no uh, one way of doing it. I mean, you know, some people go out and enjoy gardening, others mm. um, cooking. So, you know, if puzzles do it for you, of course, why not? And I think it, it, it's great to kind of have this variety of things that you do. For me, um, you know, I've been painting for about five years now. I started um you know, my dad was pretty sick, so um, and I had I just started my MBA course at the time. So, uh, coupled with 
uh, my business. It was just so many deadlines and commitments and, you mm-hmm. know, everything else that was going on that, uh, you know, I just went and bought a few bits and pieces and started painting. And I, I felt like that was my downtime. That was the time where I was yeah. disconnected from everything else was happening kind of being in control, but not having a deadline, not having somebody judging your work, what you're doing, you know. Um, So to me, I kind of found found it to be so powerful that I started doing some research and, um, you know, came up, uh, uh, came across the concept of art therapy, um, which is, you know, proven to work and a lot of um, medical professionals around the world actually using this um, to help to combat a lot of mental issues. So, you know, we're not that hardcore. We're sort of like a, a light <laughs> version. <Yeah. laughs> there yeah. like an entry level. Um, yeah. So, you know, this is something I've, you know, tried doing with my friends as well. And Sarah was that New Year's Eve. We, we had all of our friends actually doing a New Year's Eve painting party and um, ended up with a beautiful piece of work at the end of it that's hanging <laughs> in our house. So I think... You know, with puzzles, I get a bit of anxiety when I can't put things together. And yeah. again, it feels like a project and you have to complete it. So yes. that takes away from the process of relaxation. I find mm. with painting, it's just a lot easier, a lot simpler. You can just go as, you know, as far as to try and copy a Rembrandt, or you can just squish some paint on the canvas and use fingers to, you know, muck around and you've yeah. got a, something finished, you know. Yeah, beautiful. I love that idea of having the tutorials because what comes up for me is well, what if I don't think I can paint? And I know that you address that in your, um, I think it's maybe your FAQs on your website, but, you know, we all judge ourselves around our creativity, don't we? And so you've got some tutorials to support that. That was Sarah's baby because I was like, yeah, everybody can paint. She's like, "Mm." (laughs) no. (laughs) No. Well, I didn't know where to start. I actually, I said to Anastasia, that's, it sounds like a great idea, but I have no idea what I even need to buy to, you know, create a beautiful piece of art or even something that I sort of like. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Entry level, like, will I, if I sort of like it, maybe I'll keep going. But um, yeah. During the first lockdown, participated in a 30 day creative course. Um, it was just sort of something small every day and it mm. reminded me. It was online, right? Yeah, it was online. It was actually, it was a Samantha Wills. Um, she ran it for free um, while she was testing her own course out and I just loved it. And um, Anastasia's enthusiasm for painting has inspired me so much more than I expected to and mm. as I pretty much spent, you know, my career working in financial models and um, highly technical projects working quite late, uh, this first painting that I even did was quite a breath of fresh air and I really believe and we've actually seen uh, others are finding it just as fun and rewarding. Yeah it's a beautiful link isn't it when we're in our analytical mind often at work when we're project managing things and to switch into our creative mind um, where we've got more of a flow going it's a beautiful balance a way to balance our nervous system as well isn't it? Yeah and I think for like I didn't straight away see the value of the tutorials but um you know, f- f- I think, again, like Sarah was quite firm on that. She's like, look, you know, it, <laughs> it will um, take away that barrier to entry if you don't think you can paint, you totally. can. So is yeah. that right, Sarah? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No, it was, for me anyway, it was just having that, um, I guess, the, the kind of the guidance and the uh, encouragement to use the tools that you've been given. Yeah. Um, and making it a bit more fun. So rather than being a kind of a clinical lesson and um, this is how you have to do it mm. in order to see it as well, um, making it warm and um, I guess giving it, sorry, I've just got a dog walking through my house. So <laughs> As you do in lockdown. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> nothing. Everything's set up perfectly for silence and then, um, <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, just having having that kind of warm, uh, tutorial where you've got somebody in front of you using exactly the same tools that you have, showing you how to use, mm. you know, a sponge. Um, I actually didn't know that you could just get a sponge, put a little bit of water on it, get some paint, and then all of a sudden you've covered an entire canvas in 20 seconds. And I mean, to Anastasia, she's like, of course, but to yes. me, I'm like, well, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> like, have known to do that. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, it was me, me basically being quite um, early in my artistic skill set was mm-hmm. very much the driving force between, behind why we would need some tutorials and, you know, what yeah. would potentially go in them. 
Yeah. And I like how you offer on your website, you can just jump, when you get your box, you can just jump in and do it. Or you can, if you want a little guidance. So it just really makes it, it takes away all of those barriers, as you say. So whatever my judgment about my creativity, I can give it a go. So I really love that. You um, talked a little bit before, Anastasia, about the connection between creativity and productivity. Did you want to say a little bit more about that? Because I'm really intrigued in, in that as well. Um, yeah, look, so again, you know, we're super excited about uh, what's happening in the space of mental wellness. Um, of course, it's now becoming on the forefront of mm. probably our whole generation. Um, I've got, you know, a good friend of ours, um, uh, Amanda Johnson. She is all about, um, you know, helping people, vulnerable people, um, overcome these issues and creating positive networks around them. And she's been doing this work for about five years. And all of a sudden, you know, whereas before you really had a bit of a stigma about it and people didn't want to talk about it, if they had a bit of, um, you know, mm. stress or they didn't feel good, you really had to kind of ask people and get that information out. All mm. of a sudden we see kind of parallel pandemic happening and people are openly talking about it. So um, mm. having that conversation I think brought up um, a lot more opportunities to do research and, um, you know, find all these different connections. And what we found is, uh, so, you know, painting or engaging in arts is helping mentally and physically for people to recover. There's actually an interesting stat. Um, it was, I believe, uh, Department of Health working of the, uh, in the UK. So they found that... Um, people recover much faster when they're hospitalized if there is a painting of landscape in the room. Wow. So, even, you know, it goes to that level where just yeah. art present mm. uh, makes a difference. And then from there, you work out that actually unlocking the creativity unlocks productivity. People are thinking about uh, problems from different um, angles. People are not as fatigued. Um, you know, they're a lot more excited about the work that they do when they yeah. are at work. So it yeah. kind of links into, um, you know, whatever it is, whether it's a commercial application that you want to um, uh, engage creativity to create, uh, you know, to, to have um different answers to the problems that you're facing or yeah. even if you're somebody you know just at home wanting to do something uh, you know tackle a project that's been sitting there for two years and it's just procrastinating um, <laughs> you know doing a little bit of something creative and unlocking that energy will actually get you more productive with, with it, whatever you are doing um, yeah. outside of that yeah yeah. And just to add to that, as the uh, accountant in the room, uh, being a productivity and creativity um, obviously influence the bottom line for companies. So it's yeah. um, incredibly important to actually get staff um, in a good mental space and yeah. uh, encourage that creativity. Uh, so rather than sending a bottle of wine or, you know, getting everybody mm. trivia, um, giving the gift of creativity is actually quite good for de-stressing, relaxation, yeah. great bottom line. Um, yeah. And we've come quite a long way, actually, since I was a grad in quite a large accounting firm where uh, for certain months of the year, you weren't really supposed to have a hobby because yes. you were so long. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, it, was, it was quite uh, a faux pas to, to be leaving work for a hobby. Yeah. Whereas these days, the rise of corporate wellness and recognising that performance improves as team members are encouraged to work on their body and mind. Mm. Uh, so, so encouraging and, you know, I almost wish that I could go back and start again from now. <laughs> yes, don't we all? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but it's been, it's really interesting to watch and it's quite nice to participate in even on the fringes as we are at the moment. You know what, when you were sharing, Sarah, it was inspired uh, within me is there's a, um, a lot of people looking for ideas around care packs for their teams. I work with a lot of leaders and teams in transforming organisational culture. And especially at the moment, working remotely, when they're, they're doing their online meetings on Friday afternoon to round out the week. And something like this is a beautiful way to continue um, fostering that connection. So it's not just about you yeah, having a wine at the end of the week together over, over you know, virtually, but it's something that's productive as well as um, brings people together, I think, like a shared experience. So that's a really nice way, I think, to support leaders and teams at the moment as well. 
And this this situation isn't going away anytime soon. I think even when we're out of stage four and around Australia in, in different ways, we're experiencing um, the second wave here. But beyond that, next year and obviously beyond that, um, we're going to have online meetings here to stay or online um, communities. And so even even whether we get together and have, you know, um, this type of workshop together or whether it's virtually, I think is a beautiful way to create connection. Yeah. Mm. yeah and we've, we've found, I think, with wine in particular, <laughs> the first couple of weeks, I think it was fun for people. It's like, oh, you know, Friday, then uh, people started to have a drink on Thursday and Wednesday yeah. <laughs> I was talking to somebody the other day. They're like, oh, it's 3 p.m. So, um, yeah. you know, you're five months into it and you realize, mm-hmm. okay, whilst you know, um, having a glass of wine, especially red wine, may be healthy for, yourself, for, for um, a human body, doing that every day all the time is not so yeah. we consciously try to do something, you know, even for our masterpiece box, instead of putting a bottle of wine in there for, you know, sip and paint, which of course you can do. Um, but we wanted to do something that would actually bring a more holistic experience, a more healing experience. So mm. either relaxing tea or a candle or diffuser. So, um, you know, these are the gifts that we're putting into the box mm. rather than, um, you know, something that you may not necessarily feel 100% the next day. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. And I think, I think it's a beautiful, um, beautiful idea for individuals as well as groups. So I love it. Um, and you're looking at, um, so you mentioned feedback before, and that was something that I want to ask you about. What has Sarah, you mentioned the feedback. What has the feedback been? It's actually been great. It's been, we were um, really overwhelmed at the positive feedback from just initially even family and friends. And we yeah. thought, oh, this, you know, this could be good. We could be onto something. So we, we popped it up. We put up a quick um, a website and we popped a tutorial um, up for uh, other people to also purchase and consume. And we were really overwhelmed. I mean, we sold out in the first week for starters. So Amazing. <laughs> that yeah. was um, incredible. And, uh, I mean, from there then we've been trying to restock in a pandemic, which has been fun. Yeah. <laughs> New learnings there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Between lockdowns and, um, and all of the rest. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then outside of that, I mean, we've had repeat purchases and we've had people we don't know who don't know anybody who knows us. So they've all been really positive signs and we're quite excited. Mm. And the repeat purchase is beautiful, isn't it? Because they've experienced it once and they're returning. So that's in such early days as well for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, you know, even getting people like seeing them tag us on Instagram with their artworks is so rewarding as well, because you know, this is not just sitting there collecting dust. When people are receiving that as a gift, they tag us, they're like, oh my God, I got this for my birthday. And then a week Mm. later, here's the, you know, artwork that I did. Um, And then people who got it as gifts and buy as gifts for somebody else. So it's, um, it just brings smiles to our faces. You know, sometimes we feel yeah. a bit down. Obviously, it, it, we are super busy and we have sold out and there's so many great news, but you still have so many challenges along the way. And some days, you, you know, we're like, just feel a bit deflated and flat. And then you get yeah. a message like that or um, an order somewhere from Adelaide and we haven't even marketed in Adelaide ever. So you just, oh my God, we're doing yeah. something. <laughs> People really need it right now. So yeah. let's just you know, work harder, get a bit of energy into it and, um, you know, try and get it to as many people as we can. And how, how long, like, is it something that you could do for 20 minutes or five hours? Is it, does, is there a range of different times that you could invest in this? Cause I'm thinking of people who might be just have short amounts of time available to them and want to do something and feel satisfied, even if they don't finish the artwork, but is there different times that you can invest in, in doing it? Yeah, for sure. Look, there's, um, you know, first of all, you get the canvas, which is, you know, we recommend to leave it till you're um, ready and 100% know what you want to put on it. But of course, it doesn't have to be. But you also get practice paper, you get practice canvas sheets in there. Um, So we want to give people an opportunity to, you know, if they wanted to trial out and do something quickly for half an hour, they can do that on their, um, on their practice one, practice runs. Um, yeah. Again, yeah. it depends on, you know, if you want to tackle something a bit more challenging, that'll yeah. take longer. If you're doing something abstract, it, it, you know, it doesn't have to be. And we also, 
uh, you know, as a new product, we're evolving. So we're looking into having additional products that people can then um, reorder, which is like a book of um, just canvas sheets that they can yes. continue creating and, um, you know, not feel too precious with the supplies. Yeah. Um, so for the current project that we have, the beautiful flower composition, it took me about three hours to do. Yeah. And then, um, Sarah, how did you go with your um, abstract work? It's so beautiful. You have to see it on the Instagram. I'm like, I want that one. Can I buy it from you? <laughs> <laughs> it actually, it, I don't know how many minutes it took, but it was approximately the time that it took me to drink a glass of wine. So <laughs> did paint and sip. <laughs> That's not very long, really. I actually have a little. Oh, wow. Little, Gorgeous. Little, it's it's my beautiful. Little, I picked a few colors that I liked while I was having a wine on a Friday and yeah. my partner was Zooming his, his friends and I thought, I'm just going to create my own me time over in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> it took nice. me as long as it took to drink a glass of wine slowly. That's how long yeah. that took. So, yeah. not, that, not that much time, like maybe yeah. an hour or something. Yeah. Oh, Anastasia's got hers as well. Yep, that's the one. That took me three hours. <laughs> Gorgeous. I could not I do that. See, but that's an hour tutorial, so you can actually see me struggle through oh, it. Oh, okay. It was yes. A lot of fun. It was, um, so if you want to recreate that, you go to the website and you'll see the tutorial. Exactly. And Perfect. then um, we, we also work in, it doesn't have to be that, and we're also working on different themes as well. So for next month, the new box that we're doing will let you in on a secret. We've only finalized it yesterday. Um, so it'll be Van Gogh week, and there'll be three inspiration images, um, you know, some of his... Uh, more popular awesome. works that yeah. people would be able to Very use cool. as an inspiration and, you know, we'll include a bit of a description about it. So it's yeah. opportun opportunity to learn a little bit about art. Um, we also have a local Melbourne Indigenous artist um, that we will be recording a tutorial with next week. So th there'll be different stuff. Breaking news. I yeah. Love it. Yeah. That's a great idea to have those new and fresh things coming through all the time because people will find that they'll become addicted to the painting and to the creation and, and want to know more. So that's very cool, very cool. And so you were talking about wanting to move um, to make a difference in the corporate sector around productivity, and you mentioned productivity before around recovery and wellness. Was there something more you wanted to add around how you'd like to contribute to the corporate world in regard to supporting people either now or going forward? Sarah, do you want to... Yeah, sure. Well, we've actually had a couple of uh, inquiries for group um, or, I guess, team purchases already. So uh, mm. it kind of came to us rather than us going to corporate um, as an initial reach out. Um, but we really see the value in contributing to um, different team activities and uh, be that team building as a group. So um, something mm. that uh, recently started offering our um, like custom inspiration images for the group and uh, tutorials. Yeah. So uh, like having a live guided tutorial with the team mm -hmm. and it is, um, as Anastasia said, you know, you could do, you could have wine with your tutorial if you like, but we try to focus on uh, being a little healthier um, except for me yeah. with my Friday. <laughs> <laughs> um, but really starting to tap into teams' creative ability. And as I mentioned before, yeah. being an accountant and seeing the research um, and the findings of that research being that uh, higher creativity actually does impact uh, the bottom line in a positive way. Yeah. Um, I can see the business case. It's quite clear for me that uh, encouraging your teams to be creative and giving them the tools to continue to do it when they're not at work or, you know, being forced yeah. to do something yeah. um, actually does benefit a company uh, in, a, in a much um, greater way, I guess, or more, more profitable way is probably, you know, the accountants would like that. But, I mean, yeah. even just from a, um, a, an employee morale and loyalty. Um, For sure. Yeah, um, per perspective, you've certainly, uh, you'll have groups of people who, can see that you're coming up with new and innovative ways yes. to engage them and to um, contribute to them and their growth as a person, not just, you know, on whatever it is that you need them to finish by 5 p.m. on a Friday. Yeah. And so, you know, I'm, I just heard in what you were sharing, Sarah, also, you know, my mind goes all off into inspiration when you guys are sharing. And um, in one of the challenges for 
leaders and teams is in feeling that trusted space where people feel safe to share what's really going on. And like children, like parents and children where they might get their children to be playing or drawing and, and sort of have a conversation with them while they're doing that because, the, you know, that creates relaxation. You know, this kind of thing could help to support the honest and real and brave conversations that are really important in building trust culture in business because when we're, you know, when we're in that creative space, when our mind is open a little bit rather than that in that stress state, we're more likely to relax and maybe f- lean into and feel like we can have those conversations that are going to foster that culture that businesses are really looking for to enable the productivity. So, yeah, I think that's a fantastic way to help culture transform yeah. from, you know, worry and stress into, you know, innovation and creation, creativity. Yeah, Karen, especially now when um, a lot of hires are happening through um, remote methods and, you know, a lot of my clients have hired people in the last five months that they've never actually met face-to-face. Yeah. And whilst for executive teams working from home works really well, everybody has already kind of really good um, gel team they know they, they know how to delegate for new staff being hired into the business it's really challenging to build rapport um, have that mentorship you know build like you said trust culture with the rest of the colleagues and the team so you know what are the ways that employers or team leaders can ensure that the new you know the new hires the the onboarding um, has that integration with the rest of the team. So, yeah. you, you know, yeah. doing these team activities that potentially on a Friday night that people can do together and then they can share in teams, maybe have some competitions around that, yeah. um, you know, or, you know, maybe they could give these paintings to each other, you know, something like that yes. that builds um, relationships uh, yes. beyond yeah. the Zoom call. Yes. I think is important. So, you know, we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, I think it's the how to, you know, leaders and teams, I think, are always looking for more tools around that, um, especially in the remote world as well, uh, because we can't go off and, you know, go go and do an activity together. So what are those tools? So this is definitely a, one of those, an answer to that. And there's um, a few things in there. So it's not like a one-off, uh, one project, you do it and, and, and that's it. You still have enough paints to probably do four or five. You have your brushes to keep and the, um, all the other tools in there. Um, you know, I quite like the little easel with the finished artwork can be uh, mm. almost a little piece of decorations that you could have on a bedside table or um, mm. anywhere else in the home. So, uh, yes, they could use it on a, on a, as a team building activity, but then, um, people can actually use that beyond for themselves and do whatever they want in their own time. Yeah. Um, so it's a gift that keeps on giving in a good way. <laughs> yeah. I'm already thinking of, you know, a client that I work with that I think I'm going to talk to them about this because I think they'd really love it for their people. So, yeah, awesome. So um, where can people find you? I know where to find you, but do you want to tell us where we can find you? <laughs> We're on the, uh, so our website is meetimeinc.org. Yep. Um, you can find us on Instagram. We're quite active there. Um, our handle is at meetime underscore inc. The mm-hmm. other one was taken. <laughs> 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 Hashtag meetime inc. So that's our same on Facebook. Uh, we're not yet on Twitter or other places. We really wanted to nail certain channels first. Yes. You know, at the moment, it's just Sarah and I and everybody else kind of helping from vendors' perspective remotely. Yeah. So um, it's, you know, we thought it's important to know the channel, to be able to speak to people through this channel. So, yeah. um, but you can also reach out to us on LinkedIn. We're Instagram there. is perfect as well, isn't it? Because it's all about the images. It's so. visual. It's visual. Uh, you know, we're about to run some of the... Um, shorter video tutorials online as well so people can actually see how easy it is to get started yes so hopefully um that'll you know come on the radar to a lot more people as a as a tool to relax and distress yeah yeah we all take it probably the main thing we have we've worked through our covid uh restock yes. Okay. Yes, and you're back in stock, ready. aren't you? Ready to go. We're back in stock. We're so excited. The boxes yeah. were arriving. I'm, I'm thinking, great. However, they, um, they said warehouses have to reduce their capacity by, 
33% or something like that. <laughs> so I'm like, I guess it's just me packing the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've got them in your garage. <laughs> You're all set. So yeah. it, it's funny because, you know, we always said like, oh, you know, people make up all the stories about starting their business in the garage. It's true. It's true. It's the only space we have that's free in the house. <laughs> yeah. We all start in these small little places. I started my business in a walk-in robe, so there you go. <laughs> that must have been a good walk-in robe <laughs> with <Yes>. inspiration coming <laughs> No, it wasn't. <laughs> but it worked. It worked. So anything else you'd like to share with us while you're here about your project, Me Time Inc.? Anything else that you'd like to let people know about the benefits or um, that they can just get started straight away? I think that's really good go to your website they can order get started straight away you don't have to be an artist you don't have to be amazingly creative there's tutorials um there's support anything else you'd like to share look I th the main thing is it is for everybody we're not running an art school we're a you know, we've created this project initially to help our friends and family to relax and distress. Uh, it's working. So it is, you know, think of it as just something to have, to reclaim your me time, to do whatever you want. You are in control, but it's not going to be judged by anyone. You don't have a deadline. You, you know, you can stop halfway and not, you know, worry about it and pick mm. it up next week. Or you can spend, you know, three hours if you have three hours on it. Um, so it's, it really is to empower individuals to spend some time with themselves and, and do whatever they want and just see what's possible. Um, you know, even seeing colors appear on the canvas and mixing colors and seeing what happens from there. It's such a, um, amazing uh, kind of learning experience mm. um, and you know some of these things we talk through in the in the tutorial as well so it's yeah it's it's not about being an artist it's or maybe you will discover that you're an amazing artist we actually had some Sarah's sister painted something and we're like are you serious that's your first time painting it's yeah. also on our Instagram a beautiful sunflower it's wow. like Van Gogh <laughs> would be yeah. jealous wow um, so it, it's, it really is just to bring smiles to people's faces. And mm -hmm. if, um, you know, if you're a creative and you wanted to get in touch, maybe do a tutorial with us. We will mm -hmm. for years. Um, any and corporate if you're not creative, I would say, and you're like me where perhaps oh, I, that's not true. I would consider myself a little bit creative, but I've never painted. Um, and you're used to working behind a desk, behind a computer, and you would never usually do something like this. This is probably for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, because it's all there, everything that you need, isn't it? And what, cause what, I, what I love really, about it. I've got, here's one I prepared earlier. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yes. So it basically it it's a little box like this. Yeah. Um, it comes pretty wrapped, hand wrapped by Gorgeous. us. <laughs> um, so you've got your inspiration image, a little yeah. note from us. So from next month, there'll be uh, Van Gogh. Uh, images so you know you have like lots of different bits and pieces here uh, really everything that you do need there's a packing list as well so if you're not sure what what's for what there's actually instructions as well so I guess. if i pick something up and i don't know what it is that, that'll tell me exactly there's lots of help and this box is really good like once you're done you put all your art mess back in the box wow. and it just sits there without interrupting your space because i know a lot of people are worried oh i'm gonna have mess everywhere mm. We actually have a tablecloth in there as well. So wow. the chances of you spoiling something are very minimal and they're acrylic paints, so they wash off. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. You've thought of everything, really. Because... Which, I mean, it's five years in the making, I guess, because, you know, for mm. me, that was the thing. Like, what are the tools that work the best? And even now when we're putting these boxes together, uh, I test all the paints, all the brushes. What brushes would work better with these paints? You know, how does this, um, you know, like what else would stop me from creating this. Okay, I don't want to get things dirty. So we've got, you know, little gloves in there as well. So, you, you know, you're not even worried about your manicure. So, you know, those are the things that I thought, what would stop me from doing it? What would cause me a bit of stress and then regret? So I wanted to take that out. Um, and then with Sarah testing it and, you know, again, like doing her own project, yeah, it kind of validates things. Okay, well, maybe we should put that in, and maybe we should take that out. So it's it, you know definitely still work in progress. So um, 
we're constantly improving what's in the offering as well. Yeah. And I think that's really real. And I love what the, both of you bring because Anastasia, you've got that experience in being an artist, I guess, over the last five years. So you've got, you've been on that journey yourself in learning about how to become creative, I guess, or express yourself through that f- format. And Sarah, you've got the analytical mind and the business mind, but also you're, you're doing the work as well because you've p- played the piano and you've been creative in your past as well, haven't you? So you're kind of on the journey as well. So you're walking your talk, aren't you? But, which I think that's really great. Uh, it makes, it's made a difference to me. I know I've needed outlets, especially when I'm in moments where I really have to be a high performer and there have been many over the journey, you know, um, over a decade of working in finance and having quite um, quite hard deadlines and, uh, you know, an expectation that you'll perform. And I find that being able to completely stop thinking about that stuff and yeah. do something else has been an enabler to me more than anything else. And this is why I really do quite honestly believe that um, something as simple as painting and um, giving the gift of uh, a creative ability that someone doesn't know that they even have yet um, is actually quite a game changer when it comes to performance, not just personally, but professionally. Perfect way to complete this conversation. Thank you. So well said, Sarah. It's been a delight to meet you both and have this conversation. Thank you both, Anastasia and Sarah. I wish you all the best with this project, Becoming a Business, and I look forward to seeing how people enjoy your product. And I know that I'll be in touch as well. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Thank you.